All right, so I need a pre-amplifier from my microphone. And uh, I found this online, which seems pretty simple. Um, it uses a, a TL072, which I happen to have. It's a JFET input op amp. I think it's all, all FET uh, inside, so it operates on single rail as well. So they have it operating single rail here, minus, minus to plus. They have minus uh, connected to ground. They're operating this off a 9-volt battery. Uh, the microphone comes in here. It's capacitively coupled in in case there's a DC offset. Um, they actually have to DC couple it um, because this amplifier, since it's single-ended, needs its ground reference at half of the uh, single rail. So uh, normally you would have, uh, say, plus 12, minus 12 in ground. Well, if you have 0, 9, you need 4.5 somewhere um, as the middle point. And the way that they do that is they have a 27K and a 27K. So the input is sitting here at uh, half of uh, 9 volts. And it makes the op amp very happy. Um, then the output is just a non-inverting amplifier with a 33K and a 1.5K. Um, they have a um, switchable gain stage here. So you can have a low gain if the 27K is in there. I left that out. So I have a 33K and a 1.5K, and then it gets referenced through a, a 10 microfarad capacitor to ground. So there's only um, uh, AC amplification, not DC amplification. DC, DC would be a reference to the, uh, the uh, 4.5. And then the output is capacitively coupled and go that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so anyway, let's show you the, uh, show you the circuit down here. Let's see if I... That's all I can zoom in, but there's a little 8-pin uh, chip down here and the associated circuitry that you just saw. Uh, I have the uh, microphone with the 4-volt reference, and um, I've got uh, 9 volts going into it. So um, let's see if it's uh, working. I've got a oscilloscope hooked to the output through a... Uh, I don't have it capacitively coupled output. I have the scope set to uh, AC... Uh, Input so there's a capacitor inside the uh, inside the um, oscilloscope that it takes its place. Where's the oscilloscope? There it is. Hello, test, 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 test. <whistles> Sorry about that. If you're wearing headphones, that's me whistling. <whistles> so uh, it's picking up some uh, noise from the Rigel. <laughs> scope it has a fan in it the rival is kind of noisy i wish it had a quieter uh quieter um fan in it but uh it is a bit it is a bit noisy but i'm getting a signal out and it's fairly low uh fairly low noise there's like a very low rumble i that's probably fan you can see kind of a when i stop talking you can kind of see those ocean waves but uh take that out in post-processing but anyway I think it's doing what it's supposed to do and it seems pretty quiet which I'm fairly happy with um, if you kind of move the circuit around and you play with it you can get it to kind of break into oscillation once in a while very a very high frequency oscillation it's kind of hard to reproduce but when it's there it kind of stays there and doesn't doesn't go away and and that's kind of got a low frequency oscillation in it but um yeah let me turn the power off turn the power back on and it's sort of still there i'm not quite sure what the uh, low noise rumble is i don't know if it's power supply ripple or i guess i could put a capacitor on this thing let me uh let me put a capacitor on the plus nine. Yeah, doesn't really help. Anyway, um, that really high frequency oscillation though is uh, quite disturbing. So let's take a look at that uh, schematic again. And you can see on the feedback loop, there's a two picofarad capacitor across that 33K, two picofarads. Um, so that's not much to roll off uh, audio 
uh, audio frequencies, but I was wondering why that two picofarad was in there in the first place, and as it turns out, it's to kill that really, really high frequency oscillation. So I was looking in my bin for a two picofarad capacitor, and uh, I found a 33 pico picofarad capacitor, so I said, oh, that's, that's pretty low. So let me put the, uh, let me put the 33 picofarad capacitor in there. And uh, let's see how it does now. I think uh, I think it does fine with a 33 picofarad. But I wanted to I wanted to have a two picofarad because that's what the uh, that's what the circuit called out. So if you don't have a two picofarad capacitor, make one. So let me show you how you make a make a two picofarad capacitor. It's also called in um, radio radio land. A lot of people need to make uh, very small capacitance uh, values, and they make things called gimmicks. So I'm going to show you what a gimmick is, and and uh, they're very very easy to make. So let's see here. Let me let me get my capacitor meter up and running here. Let's see if we can get the camera to get the camera to see that. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, it's, it's got, it's good there. All right. So, uh, if we have function, let's lock it. It's an auto function device, but I can, I can uh, tell it, no, I just want to measure capacitance. So it's measuring zero picofarads. And if I pull out that 33 picofarad capacitor and, uh, connect that, let's take a look. Ah, 33.5 picofarad is very nice. So the, the capacitor meter is working. All right. So this is a gimmick. It's just two wires twisted together. That's all it is. So it's about a one inch uh, length of uh, twist. And this is a 22 gauge wire with in, r insulation. And so let me... Let me measure the capacitance of that twisted wire. Oops. There we go. Look at that, 3.1 picofarads. So that's pretty good. Now if I wanna make it exactly two picofarads, I come along here and I can just snip off a bit. And oh, two and a half picofarads now. So I'm gonna call two, two and a half picofarads just fine. <laughs> So that's how you make a capacitor, just to, just wind uh, wind some wires together, and it's called a gimmick. And uh, we will we will insert it in our circuit down here across that 33 33k resistor. It goes right there. So now we have our gimmick in place. And hello, test, test, test. Our microphone is working just fine. Thank you. So. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm not exactly sure what level I need uh, to output, um, but I think I can probably wire this up to go in, into my um, uh, into my um, video recorder here. Um, I actually use an audio recorder. I, I recently purchased a uh, an audio recorder uh, so I can use a lapel microphone. Uh, so hopefully my audio has been better the last couple. Uh, last couple of videos, but I got kind of interested in microphones, I guess, and went crazy. So, um, yeah, this, uh, I think this microphone has pretty good, like I said, had pretty good specs, and I think it's got a following. I think there's some Russian microphones that are like coveted. I don't probably, maybe not this one, but there are some Russian microphones that are co coveted by some recording studio artists, and uh, they did make some good ones, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this microphone was intended for, whether it was uh, for a telephone or for some type of military, you know, um, microphone for airline pilots or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting a signal out now, which is great. <laughs>